Welcome back to True Stories Paranormal Survivor. Today is all about awakening the evil. And um, this is one that I got to tell you was really unexpected for me. Um, obviously, all paranormal activity is unexpected, but, but this paranormal seems to be unexpected because of um, its placement, um, its location. Um, and now I've been thinking about the whole why of it all. And so today we're going to be talking about the awakening of evil. And the reason why I wanted to say, uh, call it or name it awakening is because, well, I'll tell you, I do, I'll do this. I'll leave it up to you and you tell me what you think about, um, what happened, what I experienced, and um, we're going to get right in to it. So I have a TikTok, and on this TikTok, I've been, uh, I've been sharing stories. I call it 12 Days of Hauntings. And what I've been doing is sharing stories, uh, true stories, um, haunted stories about events and experiences um, that people have, have had. And throughout these um, stories, I thought, you know what, what would be better and real and uh, entertaining um, than to share my own true stories because it is 12 Days of Hauntings. It is Ghostober. So I wanted to do something a little different and implement some of my own stories because there are so many and that's the way I'm able to do this podcast. And due to the fact that I am a clairvoyant, there are so many things that happen around me and there's so many things that I have to discern and, you know, try to figure out. Well, guys, this is something that I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out if this is an awakening of evil or um, if it is maybe a particular spirit. And I'll let you just tell me what you think. So I had given a story about a uh, very first story and kind of just given TikTok um, an idea of um, my life and just the start of what had happened to me and how things started and um, what I had been seeing and what I experienced um, in the very beginning of me moving into the home, into the haunted house. Um, and again, if you've never listened to any of my podcasts, well, not again, but if you've never listened to one of my podcasts ever before, and this is your first time, I did live in a haunted house for 12 years. And so I was sharing, uh, one of those stories and I told the story about, you know, my first incident. So the following night, I didn't say anything because I don't really share, you know, what I'm talking about with the family rightfully so. And I didn't share it. So my daughter was in the kitchen and, um, she said, Oh my God, mom, oh my God. And I was like, you know, my husband was in there, had been, was walking in there and we were like, what, what happened? She was like, something pulled my sweater. And I was like, what? She was like, Oh my God, something just yanked my sweater. And we were trying to figure out if maybe it could have gotten caught on anything. You know, maybe my husband was like, maybe the, uh, you were over the vent. And she was like, no, something yanked my sweater. So guys, we know the difference. This type of thing typically happened when, when I lived in the house all the time. And so we recognize the difference. My daughter grew up there. Um, so, you know, we, we, we typically know the difference in something grabbing, pulling, scratching, hitting, pushing. You know, we know the difference. And I still never said anything to them about what I had talked about. And so just let me share this little bit with you. When I was going through all of the things that I was going through in the home and I was trying to understand what is this or why is this or what's going on, um, because you already know at the time I was, I didn't know anything about haunted houses or hauntings, none of that stuff. So I would always like come back and talk to my sister about the stuff that was happening because my sister and I are best friends so we talk all the time. 
And we always did Thanksgiving together, always did um, the day after Christmas together, New Year's. And so every time I would go over and we would get together, I would say, oh my God, let me tell you about what happened yesterday or last night or day before yesterday. And every time I would share something with her, something would happen in the house. Now, I did not realize this was happening. I, I wasn't aware of this. Um, it took me a little while to realize that I was sharing with my sister or maybe sharing with a family member and something in the house would happen. And so this was a usual thing. It was It was always, you know, you talk about what happened, like I would share a story and then um, I would wake up and I would have like three scratch marks down my face or my covers would get snatched or I would turn on a light and the light would get turned back off or I would get into the shower and then the shower would just go scalding hot and burn my chest and these type of things happened, right? I just wasn't putting two and two together because it wasn't like it was a daily thing that I was going to my sister's house or a daily thing for an event. It was just when we got together, I talked about it. So I tell you all of that to tell you that when I share this, and I've been out of that house now for, let's see, four years now, almost four years, well, three and a half years I've been out of that house. So I wouldn't think that um, sharing anything about my experience would, would have any results. I didn't, I didn't think that, um, never crossed my mind at all. So, um, and then too, I've been doing my podcast now for quite some time. And though things have happened, nothing has happened where I had to feel unsafe. So, I didn't think about, and I didn't connect the dots with my daughter being, her shirt, her sweater being pulled on. I didn't connect the dots back to um, the entity until, until I was standing in my closet and I literally had just walked into my closet and I'm kind of on the, like the entryway of the closet on the left. And I want to say about 10 feet, maybe 12 away, kind of like down deeper into the closet, I could hear a shift. And actually I could, like I could hear like a sound. And... I thought, what was that? And I was like, okay, let's not pay it any attention. Let's not freak myself out. And then I heard it again. So I'm in the middle of, should I turn around to see what this is? Should I, I don't know. I don't know what I should think right now. Um, so I, I try to peek over my shoulder and I, and I tell you, when I first walked into the closet, I had this weird sense, this weird feeling as if someone was watching me. And I thought, well, maybe I'm just having this because I am in this closet and no one else is home. Okay. That's why I was, you know, your imagination can run wild, but never have I ever had that feeling before since I've been here. Never. And I thought, oh my goodness, I can't, I can't believe what, what's happening right now. So then I had to come back to TikTok and, and let everybody know that, hey, I'm not going to be able to share any of my stories because some things uh, happened. And that's when I realized what was going on. I began to believe what I was thinking. Because, you know, sometimes it's, it's not always good to believe the things in your head all the time. But I began to believe what I was thinking was actually happening. And so I'm, I'm trying to make sure 
that 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 I am not doing the wrong things um by sharing and by being so open and and I'm trying to make sure that I am very 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 safe. So I've been very careful in how I've been navigating my story and how I've been navigating ghost stories and how I've been navigating true stories. And so I'm like, okay, I meditate about this. I make sure that I'm good and no big deal, right? Well, got to tell you, this one... This one got me because I've had a very similar experience. So I'm lying in my bed and I am, let's say, asleep for maybe an hour and a half. And my, I hear my dog. He, you know, and I'm like, what is this? He's upstairs. And now, you know, you could hear like, it's like that, snarling type of like they're like a sound like if your dog doesn't recognize someone or something and or if if you see an animal like they're on the attack like they're like really showing the teeth snarling on the attack I could hear my dog doing that um on the second floor so I'm like what is happening because it sounded very, very similar to the sound that I was making when I was in between um, a possession, and I could, and I could remember how the feeling of my face felt and that snarling sound of my teeth. That is what I could hear. So now, you know, you start thinking, especially when things happen and you're asleep, you're thinking, "I have got to be dreaming," right? Like, I've got to be out of my head. So that's what I'm thinking. And so now I try to kind of not really go back to sleep, but I'm listening now. I'm listening. I'm very quiet and I'm listening. My dog begins to bark. I mean, he is barking like, and he only barks when... If somebody strange comes to the door or that he doesn't recognize or, um, you know, he Amazon trucks and FedEx trucks, he barks at these people because to them, they're strangers and he thinks everybody is going to get us. And it's, but it's such a mean type of protective sound. And he sounded so eerie at the top of the stairs. I mean, he was and I'm like, oh my God, I am not dreaming. Kenai is upstairs and he is barking like crazy. So we take care of him. We make sure he's good. And my daughter is like, first of all, mom, I don't even know. I didn't even know that he was outside of the room. Not only that, friends, he can't get outside of the bedroom with the door closed. And typically, if he tries to get out of the room at night or if he goes into her bedroom because he doesn't have thumbs and he has paws, he pushes the door closed. He can't open it. So now my daughter and I are kind of like, first of all, how the heck did he get out of the room? They'd gone to bed, had been up there for hours. How did he get out of that bedroom. So we get him squared away. And I want to say maybe about an hour later, because at first I'm kind of like, okay, this is weird and this is strange. So I want to say maybe about an hour later, an hour and a half later, I'm asleep again. And because it took me a little while to get back to sleep because I kept hearing that growling sound that reminded me of when I was in between, you know, what I was going through. And I finally go back to sleep. And I'm laying there and I hear a sound. And I'm 
like, what the heck was that? And I'm just like, wait a second. So I sit straight up, literally straight up, because, you know, in an hour, you're not sleeping that hard unless you're severely tired. So I sit straight up and I'm like, what the heck was that? And the room is dark. You can't see anything. So I'm just like, I know I heard it and I know that it was to the right of me. And so when I said that, my husband was like, what, 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 what did you hear? And I described what I heard and he was like, well, I didn't hear anything. So I lie back down and I'm just like, okay, I know I heard something loud, like smash on the floor to the right of me. Now, you know, once you wake up, you're going to have to go to the restroom. So now I have to go to the restroom and I have to go to the bathroom. And when I get up, I put on my slippers and I take maybe two steps and I see my glasses lying on the floor, kind of in front of the windows. And I'm thinking, what the heck? Literally in my pathway to go to the restroom, to the bathroom, was my glasses. And I'm like, stop. Now, it didn't really hit me with the whole stop until I got, I got, I left the bathroom, came back. And I thought, wait a minute. My glasses were on the nightstand. They were on the nightstand. How the heck? Did my glasses get from the backside of the nightstand near my lamp to over near my window? How? How did it happen? Now we have three separate events. We have the closet. We have the pulling of the sweater. And now we have my glasses been thrown across the room. Guys, what do you think? Do you think that I have awakened the evil? Let me know your thoughts. Rashika at RashikaRoberts.com And we'll talk more on tomorrow.